Hi everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. I am absolutely fantastic. The K-State men are in Cincinnati and the women are in Lubbock. It's gonna be a nice, quiet day in Manhattan. Except it's the infamous Fake Patties Day in Manhattan, uh, which is one of the largest college events around the country, even though it's not a formal event. It's just kind of a, a day in which the students get together and have a good time before they go on spring break. I'll be staying at home. Hey, first reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. I love the comments because I never do leave the house, so it's my attachment to the outside world. Sad. On with the DD, and this one's about the Kansas State women's basketball team. And you know my general theory. I don't like to talk about a team that is competing that same day because the shelf life on the daily delivery isn't very long, but I am indeed going to do the women, even though they're in action this afternoon in Lubbock, because this isn't really dealing with this game. It's dealing with their postseason hopes. Now, first of all, I gotta say, this DD will probably be not worth much if the women lose at Texas Tech because the Red Raiders are one of the bottom teams in the conference. And K-State has mucked up its postseason opportunities this last week by losing at Kansas and then at home to Iowa State. It puts them in a precarious position where they suddenly have some work to do to get one of those first round sites of the NCAA tournament. On the women's side, the first and second rounds are played at the home sites of the top four seeds in each region, so 16 hosting sites. For most of the year, Kansas State has been an absolute lock to get one of those. They would, you know, were as high as two in the polls, and now they're around 14 or 15. A loss in Lubbock would be tragic for that. But the women's season ends Saturday because the Big 12 tournament has done something very interesting. They're all playing at the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. The women start on Thursday, and the bracket will wrap up with the semifinals on Monday. The men start with two games Tuesday early afternoon, and the championship of the women is Tuesday night. Kansas State will in all likelihood go in as the third seed in that event, and they have an opportunity to make some noise. If they really want to host, and I know they do, and it would be a big thing for Kansas State basketball as a whole, they need to do some damage in the Big 12 tournament. I really thought getting Aoka Lee back from injury would kind of codify everything, bring it all together. But instead, now they're struggling with a small identity crisis. We'll see if Coach Jeff Mitty can get this group back together because this is a Final Four worthy group of players. They're just not playing like it right now after doing so for most of the season. Can they shake it off? Better start today in Lubbock and then start doing some work in Kansas City next week. Your reminder, please, we're sponsored now by Mailreg Golf Clothing. The link is in the story. 10% uh, off with that Life of Fits code. I think you're going to love it. It's great stuff. I'll wear it every day on the DD and it's inexpensive and it holds up really well. It's comfortable. Give it a shot. Go order one shirt, one of the printed polos or the striped lavender polo and see if you like it. That's it for today. Cincinnati and Lubbock. That's where the action is today.